Somebody have the first question for the coach? Uh, go ahead here in front. Coach, uh, the players almost to a man talked about the quality of the surface not being up to probably their expectations or their standards. What did you think of the surface in today's practice? Well, I mean, <clears throat> we caught a lot of the sun, you know, so I mean, sun sun melts the ice, so it was off. Obviously soft, I anticipated being better tomorrow. Shelly, go ahead. Um, just to follow up to that, if, if there's going to be a lot of rain on the surface no matter what between now and the time you play, whenever that is, is, is there a danger of, of, of risk of injury or things like that? Do you worry about that between now and then? You know what, they tell me there's a risk, but I don't know too many hockey guys that have played in the rain before, so I don't really know if there's, it, I would assume the ice would bevel and, and bump up and everything, but it's the same for both teams, the same risk for both teams, so if it was gravel, it wouldn't matter. I don't know. Dan in the left end. There's so much in this rivalry of discussed to hear about matchups, OBC, but there's one in the coaches too, and you guys go back a ways, just to you, what's it like coaching against Dan? Well, I mean, he's a smart individual, so it's uh, uh, it's tough to out outthink him. But I mean, he's also got a tremendous work ethic, and I know that from being in the LA organization with him and coaching him for three games. Uh, he's uh, it's not easy because he does his homework, and and he's got the respect of all the players. So you know they're going to go full out for him all the time. So if it's uh, uh, if we get lucky, we get lucky. But it's a challenge. But Bruce, uh, we're basically have goals on that. Whatever extent this scoring touch, you feel like it's bad. You know, I don't know. I think uh, I think um, his scoring touch will come when our power play starts to click the way it's supposed to. I think at this time last year we probably had close to 25 goals more on the power play, and and he probably had 10 to 12 and. Right now he has two, so you just add ten more onto his twenty on fourteen, and all of a sudden he's he's you know not up to the other numbers of the other two guys, but at the same time he's more up to the numbers of where he what he's used to. So Great. I think once the power play starts going, his points will start getting up there. Let's go in front here. Bruce, do you what's this atmosphere like for you? It's pretty tremendous today. I mean, I've been uh, pretty calm about the whole thing, and. And the HBO thing has been really great, but we're getting used to them because they're around all the time. So you take it as a normal seat. But uh, when you walked in here today and you saw X amount of thousands of people in the stands and you look at the, the enormity of the, the building and you go, wow, this is going to be a really cool event. And uh, uh, so it's really ramping up today. I can, we're thinking in the rooms is uh, how, you know, when they have the Super Bowl, they get a week of this before uh, the build-up. I can't imagine. So this is this is pretty good. Would, right. you, right. would you like if the game's in prime time? Would that make it even bigger than it already is? I don't know if it'd be bigger. I'm I'm sure the NHL has uh, uh, done a lot of studies on what the best time of the day would be to to have it. I mean, as far as us as players and coaches, I don't care if they play at midnight. Let's let's get it going. Right side. From a coach's perspective, how hard is it to focus that it's just a regular season game? It's only about two points with all the time all around it? Well, in the end, it's about two points. But let's not make no mistake. We're all people that want the, the game of hockey to grow. And this is a big deal. This is a, uh, to be part of this is, is very lucky. And, and in five years, you're going to sit back. And whether you're, uh, you're ever in one of the, these things again, it's going to be a great, a great thing. And if we can help build hockey in the US and in Canada and all over the world uh, by putting on a great show for these people, it's more than two points. Uh, it's, it's worth a lot more. Bruce, take, I'm sorry, just take a couple more. Well, Corey first, then we'll come back. Is that on a goaltender yet? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what memories does this bring back for you, maybe growing up, and what memories will you take away from this game the most? Well, the one memory that it doesn't bring back is every time I played outdoors, and I'm old enough to, we started in outdoor rinks all over the place, is, your feet aren't frozen stiff when you get back in because it was pretty hot out there. I don't know what the temperature got to today, but it had to be 60 degrees at least at some point. But uh, um, uh, you take back all those times with, when you come in off the rink when you're growing up and, and uh, your cheeks are red and your dad is rubbing your feet just to get the feeling back in your, in your feet. And you're not worried about 
your feet freezing, you're wanting them to warm up so you can go back on the ice. The skates are, they were all leather, so I mean, they were soaked through and through, but it didn't matter. You just put on another couple pairs of socks and went out. And, and playing in the outdoors, that's, uh, that's what, it, what I think of when I'm, when I'm thinking those things. Take one more up front here. You want to play more outdoors more often now? Are doing this a couple days this week? Uh, you know what? Let's start with one and uh, <laughs> see how we succeed. I'm sort of superstitious in a couple ways, so we'll see it. But I, I think it's fun. I mean, uh, it'll be it'll be different getting used to because the crowd's not as close to you. But I'm sure they're going to be making lots of noise. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, guys. Thank you.